All right. Time now is 743 and we want to talk about tax season. How much do you think you know about seniors and taxes, whether it's Social Security, checks, investments, Medicare premiums or other tax related issues? Older Americans need to understand what's a tax opportunity and what's just a tax trap. This morning we are joined by Chris Orestes. He's the president of Retirement Genius and Financial Health Expert. Good morning, Chris. This morning we definitely want to make sure seniors and their families aren't paying more than they owe, but first we need to understand taxes. So when is Social Security taxed and when isn't it? Social Security can be a tax trap if you're not careful. If you're earning an income, which I encourage anybody who's on Social Security, still try and find a way to earn an income, but know that if you earn more than a certain amount, your, your Social Security benefit can end up being taxed. So this year, if you're earning more than $19,560, you can have taxes charged against your Social Security benefit. Hmm, okay, that's very interesting. Now, when it comes to investment income, what are some of the tax advantages to being, let's say, 65 or older? Well, you know, most people retire around the age of 65 and older, and that means their income drops. If your income drops, it can also bring down your capital gain rate. So the highest capital gain rate is 20%, but as your income is coming down uh, from, from your, in your retirement years, it can drop to 15%, capital gain rate can drop to 0%, which can have a big impact on how much money you're keeping in your pocket from your investments and, and from selling off things like assets and real estate. Chris, we have about maybe a minute left. I wanna to try to get in one of these last two questions here. How about long-term care expenses? Is there any type of tax opportunity there for people who may live in long-term care facilities or have to make those payments? That's right. If you're, if you're making payments for any kind of long-term care that's unreimbursed, that can be tax deductible. And if you're a family member giving care to a loved one, what you're spending out of pocket could be tax deductible for you as well. I think that's so important, that last part that you just mentioned, speaking about so many family members who are essentially the caregivers for their loved ones as well. Chris, thank you so, so much for waking up bright and early with us. We really appreciate a lot of this useful information, and I know our viewers do as well. Tax time right around the corner, everybody. Yes, indeed. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather.